Hey party people, happy Monday or whatever day you're watching this video. I have three budget decks for you to climb the standard ladder, uh, bronze through gold, less than 5,000 dust, above 50% win rate, all that fun stuff. And before we go too deep into the weeds or whatnot, I just want to talk about this one more time. And it's important to see that, you know, from a class that had a number one position on the win rates for several weeks to have one card nerfed, and it wasn't even a huge, massive ultra mega nerf, um, to go to number six immediately it's it's shocking it's telling you something here um what is it telling you it's telling you that some of these cards are a little bit broken and maybe need to be refined a little bit more before they start having um them put out to the public so just a little rant it's interesting to see how the win rates are going to be in the next couple of weeks um it's interesting to see what decks are going to show up to be you know top of the heap number one um we should be seeing some sort of balance soon maybe things will change a little bit but um i've got three decks that i think that you'll be able to climb the standard ladder while we wait for all those nerfs and buffs and all that fun stuff first up we have hero power druid and this one we talked about briefly a couple of weeks ago but i wanted to get more in depth with it because i have been playing this off and on for a little bit since i originally talked to it this is a fun deck and you know the the idea is yes win games but also have fun so i enjoy this deck immensely this is 3560 dust and it's got a 58 percent win rate right now so the idea of this um deck and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your armor and your attack as high as humanly possible and there's a lot of cards that are going to let you do that so number one we have free spirit free spirits battle cry and death rattle is your hero power gains one more armor this game um you want to absolutely tech out for free spirit you want to tech out for um, Malfurion's Gift, to Peaceful Piper. I would try to tech out for any of the one-drop cards, me personally. Let's go into the lesser Jasper Spellstone. Um, I'm a big fan, and I think I've mentioned this before, um, that the Spellstones are back. This one's deal two damage to a minion, gain three armor to upgrade. Um, you want this in your hand as much as possible so you can get that um, that you know that damage to be much higher the cool thing is is you'll be able to sit there and take out with that huge damage spell for one mana um you'll be able to take them out much faster because you're gonna get a lot of armor uh magical dollhouse gain spell damage plus one this turn only um this is a good card to put out um now listen with it this 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 deck is super super uh low mana so you'll be able to play multiple of these at the same time you know once you hit you know le uh four or five mana you'll be able to you know do some nice little combos and one of the things is with malfurion's gift to talk about it you want to go ahead and you want to get feral rage or wild growth or swipe there's not a lot of other utility besides just building up that hero power so having these cards in your hand as needed is good so keeping malfurion's gift in your hand is pretty cool for the utility of it um peaceful piper is you know choose one draw a beast or discover one if you do not want to draw anything that's not the point here what you want to do is you want to discover a beast that you can use to potentially you know help you put something on board because a lot of the things in this deck are really not very heavy you know like i said you're trying to build your armor and you're trying to build your health to attack your enemy um blood mage thalnos all damage plus one the death rattles draw a card who doesn't like card draw this is also a you know card that we're going to potentially get back later on uh, bottomless toy chest this is good two mana spell that discovers a card from your deck if you have spell damage copy of it copy it excuse me so you can go ahead and put this out with either your spell damage minion on the board or you know maybe the um the location and you'll be able to you know get a copy of that card and you want copies of this you want to be able to throw out as many groovy cats and as many free spirits as possible to really make your hero power much much stronger uh, much more you know ability to take out large minions or take huge amounts of damage with the armor and then popular pixie uh choose one refresh your hero power or your next one cost zero 
Um, you know what the option is here. You know, if you could refresh your hero power and run it again to grab that huge armor, why wouldn't you do that? Um, it's a smart choice. Or if you need to make a turn, um, the next turn that's going to pop off, but you want to make sure you're conserving uh, mana, although this isn't a lot of mana on here, you can go ahead and make the next uh, hero power that you do hit zero. Uh, sing along buddy this is a great card as well i wouldn't put this out immediately but this one is your hero power triggers twice so who wouldn't want a huge uh, big chunk of armor um hitting you you know twice and giving you even double the amount this will not last the smart people as soon as this goes on board take time to make sure that sing along buddy is off the board especially with this deck um if they don't take it off quickly enough you can really really uh do some fun stuff with it uh wrath of course wrath is a very good card deal one damage to a minion or deal one damage and draw a card it gives you card draw and then the one damage it'll work well with spell power um you got frost lotus seedling this is a great card we know we've seen it it's been a pain in the butt a little bit but you know draw one card and gain flame of armor blossoms in three turns this is another card you definitely want to have in your hand for as long as possible so you can get that that huge amount of armor you've got swipe deal four damage to an enemy and one damage to all other enemies so this is utility used with spell power to get a little bit extra um you got trog gem tosser uh with a finale remember the finale deal one damage to a random enemy for each of your mana crystals this will help you especially when you're further along on the mana depending on how many you have uh spread the word great card um Draw two cards and it costs one less for each attack your hero has. Immediately, probably turn two, um, you should be able to pop this off for nothing because of what you've done for the free spirits and what you've done for um, the groovy cats. Your ability to make huge armor swings and huge attack swings should be easy to do. And then here's the cap on this. So the big thing is play out all your free spirits. Play out all of your... Um, groovy cats get those out as much as possible and then afterwards put joy mancer geppetto in there eight mana it gets copies of every one attack or one health menu you play this game and then just rinse and repeat and recycle so don't put this out unless you've had quite a few of the um, other cards that will help you get that huge amount of health and armor and this is it's like i said this is a fun deck i would try this at least once I could not think of anything that I would want to swap out of this deck. Um, this definitely needs Joy of Mancer Geppetto. Um, I feel that it's much stronger um, with this card. I think if you do not have this card, you know, it's, it's just going to run out of gas pretty quickly. Um, and you could be fighting, you know, some opponents that are really taking a time um, to, to, to get down on the health. So try this one. Um, let me know what you think. I'm really curious what other people think with this druid. I think, like I said, the main thing of this is it's below 5,000 dust. It does have a good, um, you know, win rate, and it's a fun deck to play. Next up, hand buff paladin. Um, we've also talked about this one a little bit before, but I wanted you to just strengthen how strong this is. Number one, it's above 50% win rate, so it's a 52.5% win rate right now. Lower ranks is good. Um, and it's only at 960 arcane dust. So if you are just starting out, you do not have a lot um, to work with and you're trying to build a budget deck, this is very easy deck to play. And it's also, in my opinion, very fun to play. And the idea is, is you're putting in minions in your hand and then using a couple of other utilities to buff those cards in your hand and then do massive swings of damage when they're on board. Okay, let's go into a couple of the pieces. We have Righteous Protector here. Um, great card, one mana, one, one, taunt shield. Yes, you could use it if you need to put it out immediately, but the idea is to buff these minions and make them stronger. You've got Scarab Keychain, which has the battle cry of discovered two cost card this will be good for utility for you in case you need to discover anything um this card is is pretty good um i have not played a lot of this card with the hand buff type of paladin but i would absolutely when i saw this deck list i was like yeah i would absolutely put this one in uh south sea deck hand it's a good card um it has charge and you have a weapon equipped um while there isn't amount of you know a huge amount of um um, uh, weapons in the deck there's just the the two versions of painter's virtue the idea with this is keep this in your hand 
buff it as many times as possible and then when you have a good swing um you can go ahead and put this out very easily while you have that weapon and then it's a big charge to the face if at all possible that's the goal obviously gold panner is a good card as well um this one i like to buff this one because it keeps it on the board a lot fast a lot longer um and this is at the end of your turn draw a card so that constant card draw i would not just throw this out immediately um if you have the opportunity to do so let it sit so you could just go ahead and make something um for gold penner bigger on the board and it's just more difficult to clear uh grime street outfitter so this is what you're going to want to do you're going to want to make sure that you have the opportunity to put this out when you have a bunch of stuff in your hand that's going to plus one plus one great card um what i would try to do is if i could find one of these i would hold on to it um if you don't have one of these in the mulligan um you should be fine just look for those lower minions or what have you um absolutely look for shroom scabate i think this one's important me personally i also like to look at deputization aura for that time that i need it there's a bunch of things that you can mulligan for um, instrument tech is also great so instrument tech allows you to draw that weapon as you need it so one mana one two draw a weapon easy to do it works as well also if you buff it so it's a little bit more difficult to clear on the board but the main thing is just using this to get your weapon out shroomscavate is important it used to be much better card with wind fury but that's fine give a minion to find shield and excavate the treasure not only are you getting a treasure um you'll be able to get two of the treasures but the main thing is you want to go ahead and give something on the board divine shield and you know not having something die so easily or stay on the board a little bit more while knocking out something of your opponent is a very good thing i don't see why you wouldn't want to do that alkalite of pain whenever this minion takes damage draw a card so card draw absolutely good especially if it's buffed uh deputization aura this card and i'm always been a fan of this uh art here um your leftmost minion has plus one attack and lifesteal last three turns so this will help you maintain a healthy balance of health healthy balance of health i don't know if that works but anyway um outfit tailor this is a card that i have not used personally this deck looks fun i also saw this like i saw the scarab keychain and i said absolutely it's an opportunity so put this in your hand keep this in your hand buff this in your hand and then battle cry give a friendly minions attack and health equal to this minions so you're absolutely buffing something even more than that um, by using this card but you do want to buff this card up um, this is in here to keep this deck as low cost as possible so i like it uh next up trinket artist this is a great card we know what this is going to do three mana two three battle cry draw a divine shield minion and an aura so you want to go ahead and get the deputization aura out as quickly as possible potentially but this is just a card to do it um you know it's really just used yes you have the divine shield minions coming out which is important to you um but the main thing is to grab that aura uh painter's virtue this is a great a great weapon it's one of my actually i think all of the weapons for a paladin have been really good um but this one's just really really strong four mana two three with life steal so you have life steal here and then after your hero attacks give minions in your hand plus one plus one there's two in here absolutely needed you don't see a lot of snake counters in this so you should be okay um but yeah make sure that you're swinging this when you have something in your hand that you can buff because this is going to give them plus one plus one tigress plushie um good card here it's a very good value card for how much it costs um it's miniaturized with rush and lifesteal and divine shield so you can go ahead and you can get a little bit more health as you need it especially if you have it in your hand um and you buff it obviously and then also it gives you the one mana one one with the same thing so once you put this on the board you have something else that you can buff it's very good utility in my opinion and then look we got leroy in here leroy is a core core card you should be playing it the next couple we're going to talk about is core cards this is charge battle cry and listen um throw this in your hand keep it in your hand um get this up on the attack and then just smack your opponent in the face to end the game you also have war song grunt um 
the Rumble cards that were added. So Warsong, Grunt, and then Nomelia. Uh, just great cards. If you haven't messed with them yet, definitely try it, especially since they're in core. Um, they're really good cards. So this one's here. Rush after this attacks and kills a minion. It may attack again. This will help you, especially if it's buffed. And it's got a nice healthy amount of health to where you could probably knock down one or two things. Just remember, it has to attack and kill the minion. And then last up, Nomelia, safe pilot. This one's great as well because not only does it damage the minions next to whoever it attacks, it also is death rattle of deal two damage to all enemies. This card will clear boards and it does clear boards. As everything in here, there's not one card in here I would really say that wouldn't be useful with those buffs from either the weapon or the Grime Street Outfitter. And I really wouldn't touch this deck. I would really keep it, you know, keep it alone without adding in or teching in any other cards. It's super cheap for you to be able to play. It is strong and powerful. And, you know, your opponents might not see what's coming. They might just be completely surprised after you just one, two, three with all those buffs. And then you have some healthy minions on board to smack your opponent in the face many, 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 many times. Last up, we're going to talk about Spell Token Hunter. This one's 4,480 dust. Um, and it's much less, actually, because of the core cards that are in here. Um, Barak, Kodo, Kodo Bane, and Leroy Jenkins are in this deck. And this deck, you know, those are core cards. So it should be much cheaper than that. And then this is a 69.7% win rate. Uh, I think we've talked about part of this and a little bit of synergies before. Um, but this deck is pretty cool um first of all you have awakening tremors and this this card is very powerful for many many reasons um number one it's got the three three one worms they're only one mana um and you're going to use each one of these either for you know keeping your opponent on their toes you throw one or two of these out um and then their opponent has to react or they're going to get hit really hard or something that you can do with some of the combos in it um, we'll get into that, but the main combo of the Awakening Tremors is the Observer of Myths. So, after you summon a minion with more attack than this, give all friendly minions plus one attack. So, with this and a couple of the Awakening Tremors, that's a pretty good board um, that you could do some nice damage with. Going back to the cards, bunch of bananas, give a ban uh, minion plus one plus one, three bananas left. You know what you can do with this, just buff up the minions as needed. Um, you can use this for anyone, it doesn't say just beast, it says a minion, which is great. Sneaky snakes, again, summon two one one snakes with stealth, you could do many things with this. Um, plus, most likely, unless they have a crazy AoE, um, they're not touching those, so you just keep them on the board ready to attack. Um, Thorn Mantle Musician. Make sure you use the finale for this one because the next beast you summon gets plus one, plus one. And it would be kind of silly for you to have this in the deck without using the, um, you know, for its intended purpose. I would absolutely consider doing that. Uh, Vicious Slither Spear is after you cast a spell, gain plus one attack until your next turn. So very easy to keep this on board for one turn, then do something nutty to make it a 3-3 three, three, or a 4-3 that you can hit your opponent with. Uh, Barrel of Monkeys, we've talked about it. This is a this is a way to give yourself a little bit less pressure um, for your opponent's next turn because now they got one four taunts to deal with. It also works very well with Bunch of Bananas. Okay, Jungle Gym is the card that some people don't like, um, and I'm glad there's only three charges on this. Uh, this is deal one damage to a random enemy, repeat for each friendly beast. Um, you have opportunities to do multiple beasts on board, so I would absolutely consider using this um, as you need to when you're going to put multiple beasts on board pretty important there server miss we talked about um after you summon the minion with more attack so you have multiple opportunities in there use this when you're going to throw something out but make sure that you know you're summoning that minion that has more attack okay patchwork pals is a great card as well um two mana get all three animal companions they cost one less so if you're looking at the patchwork pals and if you want to figure out it's got huffer that has charge it has misha that has taunt and then leok that your other minions have plus one attack so it's a very good card for them having you know for only two mana you get all of those those cards it's pretty good plus it's they cost one less it's a great card Remote control is next after your hero attacks, summon a plus one, I mean a one one hound. Um, 
only three charges, but you don't need it. Listen, the weapon is not, the weapon hit is not what you're looking for with this. What you're trying to do is summon something that you can do some damage with, with the uh, synergies that you have. Saddle up. Uh, give your minions death rattle, summon a random beast that costs three or less. So the synergies on this as well. You have a board of anything. You throw this on there. All of your minions have plus one, plus one. I mean, not plus one, plus one. Uh, the summon a random beast that costs three or less. You can do some fun stuff with that. They're not going to be huge, crazy damage inducing minions, but they will be good enough for you to have some pressure on your board. Uh, Dragon Bane. Uh, after you use your hero power, deal five damage to a random enemy. Um, it works even better if they don't have any enemies on board. So this is a great card. Uh, RC Rampage. This is the one that other people are saying that this card is busted and broken. And this is the summon the six one one hounds. Any that can't fit, give the others plus one plus one. So um, use it for the observer of myths use it for the you know with the bunch of bananas use it with the uh, barrel of monkey there's just you could use this with so much add it with saddle up there's a lot of things you could do with it add it with the location you could do some fun stuff like i said barracoda bane this is just great um this is the giving you the ability to throw one of the one the two the three cost spells that you already have in the deck to start building up those combos um some people mulligan this one it is an idea. I'm not saying you should, but it is an idea. Uh, Leroy Jenkins, uh, listen, it, it's a great card that has charge. Um, who want, doesn't want a 6-2 for 5 mana that could potentially end the game? So I would keep this in here while you're still refining. There might be some other things that you can add. Um, you might be able to use the Hunter Titan. There might be a legendary you have. Feel free to you know mess around with that. Uh, Mantle Shaper. This is a great card. It costs one less for each spell you've cast while holding this. So put this in your hand and then cast those spells and then boom, you've got a 5-5 five, five on your board that didn't cost you really anything to play. Uh, Zilliax. Zilliax is, if you're not crafted it already, you're silly. You should be crafting this card. Um, this one right here is going to be with the pylon, so your other minions have plus one, plus one, and then ticking costs one less for each minion in play. So you can get this on the board pretty, pretty quick, okay? Um, what I would do in terms of swapping out cards. So if you have a ball of spiders, this is a good one. You know, this is a good one. Not only at summon three one ones with the death rattle, get a random beast, but it also synergizes with some of those other cards. You could also consider um, putting in the painted canvasaur. So give each other friendly beast a random bonus effect. So maybe it could be a poison. Maybe it could be a life steal. Um, if you have these cards, absolutely try to tech these out a little bit. You know, I would say maybe adjust it with vicious slither spear um there's other things that you can do with it but you know what i would do is i would just see what your opponent's playing right now um you know as you're going through look at the deck say hey did i use this card was this card useless for me and then start swapping out some people live and die by vicious slither spear and other people are you know will go through games without even putting it on the board so your mileage may vary um that is it for this week i'm going to like i said i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to look at next week's video um to see what decks are coming out if there's not a lot more variety i'm going to start talking about some specific cards um that you might want to craft if you have the ability to i might go and revisit some of the older decks there's some stuff i'm looking into as options but i don't know if we're going to have any you know nerfs or buffs any balance changes next week and i'm running out of you know um, new decks to talk about um, that'll help you climb the standard ladder without going into low win rates or really way above 5,000 dust. And I don't want to do that. I've got ideas. We've had the situation before, um, so it's nothing shocking. And I'm sure we'll find something that's awesome that we can play to tide us over while there is some nerfs and buffs. And hey, you know, before we know it, we're going to have that mini set come out. And we'll talk about that as well. That's it. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.